up, gamers? Uh, if you, uh, years old, we just did our baseball YouTube video. My picture was ass. And that's all I'm gonna say. Go watch the video. I might do that, um, that gun store thing. For that robbery thing. Then after that, I should be doing the story missions. Got you. Like, this should be quick. I don't know if I'm gonna get a one rating, or I'm gonna, like, get out of there and not get a one rating. I don't know. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can just... Like, I got money. Like, I can just spend that shit off. Yeah. I wonder if you get like a bunch of money so you can go ape shit and just start killing a town for fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I just like, but I don't want to do that. It's just pointless. I did that, like, as like a joke because I saved before I did it. My roach to show character is ready to go. I just haven't uh, played him yet. Okay. I haven't had the time. College, man. I don't have time for shit right now. Are they still doing that? Um. um they have like this two new position thing. They have a new. Uh, they still do it, but now you can. They actually changed roach to the show where you could choose what you want to do now. You don't have to be a two-way player anymore. Okay. So I chose to be a one-way player, and apparently. There's now this new thing called podcasts, apparently, in LB Show 22, where yeah. they have, like, these people that they talk, they, like, have people from the real MLB, like, like former players or from commentators one. from real life that, like, talk to you, I guess. It's weird. But you don't have to watch the podcasts. You can actually skip them if you don't like the podcasts. But I actually Some like them, so I kind of just watch them. I don't know. It's like two minute clips of like some like opinion from a commentator or opinion from like a real baseball player from the past or something. Come on, girl. And they just say how you're doing this crap like that. So I don't know. Some people skip it. Some people like to watch them. I don't know. I I I'm indifferent to it. I like the podcast fine. They're sometimes funny. Hey, I don't know. There's this one guy like um, Chris Russo. Podcasters, uh, commentators, and he's just nuts. Like, he's like, I was like drafted by the Red Sox, and he goes, Really? They chose this guy? Of all people, they chose this guy. Of all them. They are insane. I don't agree with this pick at all. But I'm like, <laughs> Okay. So. Hey, that's not going to work here. Chris Russo is a kid. He's my, probably my favorite podcast guy I've ran into so far in the world of the show. Today. So, he's out there. They call him Mad Dog for a reason. That's his nickname. So. He's also on ESPN sometimes, and sometimes when he's on, I have to listen be to him because he's fucking crazy. Like, he has the most out there takes on stuff. I'm just like. He's the only guy on ESPN that's probably the least woke. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. Like, he doesn't bring his politics into it. He kind of just talks shit. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to the gunsmith, folks. Yeah, I gotta look around to investigate and do the robbery thing. Hello, mister. Hello, hey, you shot you. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just like, like, I'm kind of amazed. I point the gun at him, he's like, don't do that. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll be on my way. Because <laughs> apparently me knowing that there's a thing going on there is not enough. I need to find a... 
I need to investigate and find a way to have Arthur know that there's actually some shit going on in there. Jackass trying to find. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon. Welcome back. Change your mind on something? This is invitation only. Why are you doing this? All right, now I can do it. I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is a back terrace where people go relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Go on, move. I feel like we did this before. It's Open me. up, it's me! They're all the kind of Smith areas the same. I don't know. Uh, it's a little similar. Must be a slow day. You know how it goes? So there you are. Where else would I be? <laughs> hey! What the hell's going on? Why all the security? What the hell's going on back here? Look, nothing. Honest. I'm just paid to guard the place. To guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you've got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. Okay, okay. Take it easy. A little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door at the end of the hallway. Just calm down. No shooting. They ain't paying me enough to care about this. I won't breathe the word to no one. Fellas who got more than this, where's the rest? The rest? No, everything was out there on the table. I ain't a patient man. Where's the rest of the money? I swear, that's all we got. All that commotion, I wouldn't hang around, sir. The police respond very quickly around here. I swear on my life. Just leave us be. You got what you wanted. Let's try that again. 
Oh, we weren't supposed to get wanted. Um... It was that, and I saw there was a safe there, and I guess that guy knew this combination of safe. And I forgot about that. Fuck. Oh, you mean when you shot that guy in the head? You... At my, maybe. And you didn't mean to do that because you forgot about the safe. Like, I couldn't see what that guy said, but some guy mentioned like, Oh, I don't know how to open the safe any more than that guy. I'm like, well, shit, well... It well, I don't fucking know that. Oh, so it's kind of like after the fact. It was too late when you shot yeah. the guy. Yeah. It's like, well, fuck. Oh, so you were just saying to yourself, maybe I can get away with this. And yeah, maybe. Was, and then was, okay, maybe I can beat him up and then crack the safe. Apparently, I can't crack the safe. <laughs> I mean, I had a mini game where I, I would guess you know, the combination of the safe, like I did in that bank heist mission, so I figured, like, I could do that, but I guess I couldn't. Oh, so you get to retry the whole robbery mission again? Yeah, I just gotta redo it again. That's the game's fault, not yours, right? Uh, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't know. It was a case of, damn, I didn't know that, instead of, oh, this game's bullshit, you know? Door. What am I doing? All right. Glad to see you back, sir. Oh, you're not gonna be happy to have me back, believe me. You shouldn't be there. Please don't do that in here. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. Knock on door. Please. Knock on door. Activate all save. Oh, so that you could also hit that part so you have to breathe it over. Relax, time. my friend. Never mind. Hey. I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now. <laughs> Nothing. This is the back terrace where people go relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Go on, move. While I'm here. How much do I get? I get Must be a slow day. twenty bucks. You know how it goes. So there you are. Oh well, the Where cutscene was going on. You decided to do the whole thing. Yeah. Right. Do you need something? No, just came to get some fresh air. All right then. Being cooped up. Hey, what the hell's going on? Oh, no. Oh, please, don't shoot. Why all the security? What the hell's going on back here? No, nothing. Honest. I'm just paid to guard the place. Guard the back alley? Don't fuck. Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. What's up? I just yeah, do one what I'm told. I don't ask <laughs> yeah, questions. one dollar. You got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. Okay, okay. Take it easy. A little poker game, that's all. Third door, upstairs. Door at the end of the hall. Just calm down. Okay. Let me just check something real fast. I need to know, like, what exactly I did wrong. Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry. RDR. To Saint Denis Gunsmith Robbery. Oh, shit. Whoop. Oh, that's right, yeah. From baseball. Oh, I had to melee the guard. Not shoot him. <laughs> well, I think 
I said, that was a mistake. I knew it. I did. So, hey, uh, this here's called a it. It was because you shot him. You'll have to leave. Hey, come on. I got money. What's the buy? You ain't on the list. Leave now or we got a real problem. I came all the way up here and I ain't leaving without something. Oh, you're leaving with something all f I... Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. It's all right there on the table. So there wasn't a safe then, or is there is? There, there you go. It's all yours. Just, just stay calm, okay? If I find out you fellas are holding out on me, it's going to end very badly for you. Oh, damn it! You keep your mouth shut. I will shoot you dead right there if you don't tell me where the rest of the money is. Oh, no, 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 please. Keep it together, you imbecile. You're gonna get us killed, Jim. Just tell oh, me. Okay, I have to Shut interrogate this guy. There's plenty more in that safe on the wall, but only he knows the combination. All right, I'll open the damn safe. All right, do it. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Thank you. Yeah. There's only 18 bucks in there. I was hoping for like a couple hundred. <laughs> Fuck. There's gotta be somebody else in here. Uh, what? What? Uh, I don't know what you picked up, but that was weird. Come on, there's gotta be some other shit in here. Well, whatever's in my left eye is gone. I don't know. This morning, my eyeball, my left eyeball was like in pain. Really? Why? I don't know. I was taking a shower and something got in it, so I was like, okay, there's a left eye. Gold nugget. Alright. That was your other thing. That's like 25 bucks. Pleasure doing business. I flushed my eye out, and hopefully whatever was in there is gone. I don't know what the fuck happened. Must have had a tank. It soaked my eyes, and it was enough to cause... Whatever. Okay, I think me shooting that guy earlier is what alerted the cops. That's why they twice said, Oh, you cops are on their way. You better get out. Yeah, the cops are on their way. Oh, shit. You knocked out the guy that knew the combination. I'm like, oh, damn. I guess I did. Well, that was only 20 minutes time sink, that's fine. Yeah. Could've been worse. I even get like a hundred bucks for that shit. Oh, you felt like you wasted your time. A little bit. I got money, but, you know, I was hoping for a lot more money. Well, it wasn't a waste of time, you got some money. Alright. Is the horse show up on the map? Yeah. All right, we want number one. Yes, one out of three. And then there's an Albert Mason mission and a Margaret mission as well. Those are side things. Hey, man. Probably go back to that later, right? Hey. Yeah. There's my Snow Queen. Get. You stop! This is the law, ma'am. Screw the ladder, Mister. Oh, someone else is crying. I thought it was you. I was like, wait. What happened if I intervene? Hold on. Because I think he murders this guy. Oh, you're saving so you don't have to redo that whole thing. In case it's just like, no, what you did was criminal. I'm like, fuck. Oh, Come on. Please. I didn't take much. Ah, uh, that didn't work out the way I wanted. Well, now we know. <laughs> Damn it. 
Uh. Alright, well. Alright, we have an hour and a half for a main mission. Yep, an hour and a half. Well, I can get the three part thing done at least. Maybe do an Albert Mason mission. His is usually quick. So maybe we can do an Albert mission. If we have extra time. Because I know Albert's usually quick. Is that the guy I'm thinking of? The guy who likes to take pictures? Yeah. I think that's him. Yeah, his missions are usually quick. We can do Albert after we do the main mission. Yeah. If we have time. And then we can start with Margaret next week. And get into some more main story after the, that, that Margaret mission. Uh, I think we'll be soon, honestly. I just like the Albert missions a lot because it's like you take pictures of random things and yeah. it's always a good time. Ah. So, let's do Angelo. All right. Albert's over there. So, who's closer, the Angel Barton mission or the Albert mission? Uh, Bronte. So, we'll do that first. All right, one, three, let's go! Gotta hit your horse, though, don't we? Hello, ma'am. Hi there! Mister? Hey there! Howdy. Yeah. Or maybe you just stole the store, never mind. Yeah. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there Donald, so far. This looks no. like a good I place to look for a shop, I think so. Sure. Just you are the you know me? I'll meet you back here in uh yep. I really hope you didn't see any spoilers from that trailer in the Kingdom Hearts Reddit. Um you probably did. Funny you should say that. Well, you know I, I, I we went on, went on YouTube for two seconds. Excuse me. Of course, someone puts in the thumbnail. <laughs> Was there a girl with orange hair? Yes. Yep. Mm. Fucking assholes. I happened to be on YouTube and there was a thumbnail in my recommended section. And it was the girl from the fucking trailer. Yeah. Idiot put it in a damn thumbnail. So, and it, and yeah, and the wake bears worse. He put the name of the character in the title. Yeah, good shit. Woo! We don't give a fuck, do we? Thank you. So, so yeah, I'm spoiled for the trailer. So. Ask you question. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go for the Reddit, you know. I'm like, I didn't care about like spoilers and shit. I'm like, oh, Dave's gonna be interested in this. No, leave it for And it's like, nope. Well, you found out <laughs> way sooner than I wanted you to. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I just happened to be on YouTube. It was in the, rec it was in the recommended section. Someone put the thumbnail and the, the fucking title. We need like a spoiler thing. We need like a YouTube thing where it's just like, hey, block possible spoiler shit. Because this is fucking ridiculous. It's been going on for like decades. No, wait, years. You know what I mean. Where it's just like. Yeah, I, I can tell you're outraged for me because. I, well, I because some idiot put the person because in. Because you know how anti spoiler I am. <laughs> it's like, hey, look. If I get spoiled by something, it's whatever, right? But I want you to get, like, a really good experience. Well, I don't know the context of why she's in it. I just know she's in it. I'm like, what? Alright, I won't say anymore. I don't know why she's there. I can make guesses. But, like,. All I know is Sores and that dealt in this one, apparently. Hey! Hey, you got cigarettes? So that's all I know. Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo like, Bronte. 
Uh, I tell him. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? It's a really we'll spoiler, take you because he's been in, like, what, heaven, I guess? I reckon I can pay. Five um, dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then yeah. I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. Oh, you God. The city, we gotta follow someone. Pretty much. Yeah. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. You give that back. Can we fucking take our guns? What the fuck? No, you took our money. I don't think he usually walks this slow. That's what I was saying. I was like, wait a minute. Why is he running so slow? What in the hell? Sorry about that. They keep doing shit for me to not catch up to this kid. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. 
Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. That's the Wild West, boy. Yeah, you get your shit stolen all the time. Yep. Yeah, I think I got all my money back. You have to return to Dutch Nita soon. I was. I think you can catch him like early if you like. You like go around buildings and stuff. Like if you know the path he's gonna go. Hey, will you help a fellow out? Uh. Get yourself some real food. I think huh? the kid tells you like what the uh, group of Listen, kids tell you. You hmm. have to take this. I like the group of kids. Actually, the like, it feels like an actual You're scene. The only the group one of people. Ever. One person feel like that. It's like Bronte employs children, <laughs> or like you know, like shit like that. Yeah, that's my horse. Hey, Dodge. No way. I got robbed by kids. Don't tell anybody. What's got there? That I couldn't prevent the robbery. Oh, he's over there. All right. Who by? Bunch of children. Oh, <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Ah, good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I was just about to say, did he crash the game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Oh, we ain't gonna never Both are life. full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Jack all say that they're getting robbed by kids? Yes. But now we go to two or three? Uh, yep. Yeah. Buenos dias, senor. <laughs> okay, catch a street urchin before he reaches the market. Yeah, you can do that. You can catch him. But you have to, like... It's like, you have to have, like, foresight to, like, know... We got a, we got two stranger missions. Yeah, there's too much stuff, man. There's too much shit in this game, man. Excuse That's not a complaint. It's just like, if you're in it for the story and the story only. Well, now what are we doing? Are we gonna be doing more story or doing side stuff? Well, there's one side thing I want to do, but I don't know if it's this one or a different thing. Howdy. Like now, I'm trying to pick and choose the stranger missions. 
Because I know, like, some of them. Hey, move! Mister. You okay, boy? Who watch where you go? Morning, dude. Morning, mister. <laughs> Um, not that one. Um, I think there's one strange mission where, like, you can have a guy test the electric chair. I don't think I'm gonna do that one though. Uh, you, Mister, excuse me. I didn't do anything to him. I didn't do anything to that guy. He was like, you did not! I'm like, whoa. A bit much, don't you think? I just, I just walked by him. I literally just walked by that guy. He's like, you son of a bitch! I'm like, this town's fucking nuts. Get robbed by fucking kids. Now I'm trying to find the entrance to this fucking building. Hey, buy me a drink when I'm young. Okay, another one, but Let's go. like this one, I was specifically looking for. It's only in chapter four. I don't know if it's only in chapter four. That usually happens when, like, you first, like. I think I think the guy's like somewhere in a park or something. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go over to the next mission, and maybe I'll like. I'm trying to find ones that are, like, super interesting. There's one where, like, you can test a boat with, like, a little toy boat with, like, missiles on it. And you shoot, like, like, toy boats. So, there's one where you start the electric chair. There's one about, like, an artist. Maybe it's this one. Try to find like you know, interesting ones. Hey there. Wait, no, this one's the boat one. Yeah. Just say fucking Google it. What's it called? It says Stranger Missions on my guide. Wait, oh, it's not in Saint Denis, it's in Rhodes. I thought it was in Saint Denis. What is it? Does it have a name? The Inquiries of History. Yeah, that's. I have it in my guidebook. And I'm gonna confirm it for you. It is in Rhodes, yes. Fuck. Okay, um.
Yeah. If you wanted to do it real quick, but I don't know if you want to go up back the roads. It won't be too long. Yeah. I, I just gotta get out of town and then do the camp thing. Oh, you wanna get the music sign me down the way? Yeah, because I want I wanna do that one. Yeah, then I'll go back to the main stuff. They probably want to do all of the like stranger mission things, but at the same time it's just like, like it's gonna be like, do you really want me to do all of them? Only the ones that sound interesting, and I don't want to do them back to back to back. The story, a little bit side mission, a little bit story. I like, I like the even stuff. I don't like side mission, side mission, side mission, side mission. Oh, oh, oh one back to main story. Side mission, side mission, side mission, side mission. I like all the shit. Maybe that's just it. Uh, is this it? Boy, I ain't kidding. No. Don't you? You're an agent. Please, God. Oh boy. All you wanted to do was make campfires. Yeah. Actually, your arm went up because there was a raider. I think. Uh, who's this guy? He's a raider. Your arm, actually, your arm went up because of that. I saw it go up. I think raiders are bad people. So if you kill uh, them, they arm. Yeah. Up. Well, now I just went like, down. Like I did, but like a guy went. Thank you, stranger. I really appreciate that. And like this dude dead. So I'm like, who, who the fuck said thank you to me? Like I tried to like dead eye the guy, but it like took me straight out dead eye for some reason. Oh, this, this, this TV is cursed today. Yo, I could, if it if I like fucked that up, I would say it's my fault. But like, I know that's not my fault. <laughs> nah, the TV's cursed today. I lost in baseball. You're having problems with this game. Yeah. The TV's cursed today. It's like, all right, I'm gonna do the quick draw and then activate, it, and then I got chicken straight out of it, and the hostage got executed. So I don't know what the fuck to say. It's also a holiday today. It's Boston Day. It's not just Jackie Robinson Day. Live in Boston. Happy Boston Day. The anniversary of the uh, marathon. Yeah. Yeah. April 15th. And the weird thing was, I got good karma for it. Like, I did save that guy, but I didn't save him. But I guess his ghost talked to me. Like, thank you, sir. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the roads and, like, Alright. See, what we should have done, if we remembered the stranger mission, we should have done it. It doesn't what? open up in chapter 3, does it? I'm assuming it doesn't. Uh, no, it was like all over roads and shit. I would have, like, saw, saw that and been oh, I know this one, and done it. I guess it doesn't happen until, like, chapter 4. I think that's why I thought I was in Saint Denis. Maybe that was the one. I'm like, I seriously thought I was in Saint Denis. Oh yeah, that was fast. Usually that takes forever. Like I did like the guns that are missions and stuff because it's like, you know, history I thing. Okay. <laughs> no. You look off. <clears throat> I don't know how to continue those. Like I wanna like look continue those. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. 
I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. It's a, north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Bank says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Added an objective to your map. I notched the Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Okay. Uh, Mike. What's his name? Jeremiah. Yeah, he, it's over there. Okay. Well, good news. I can ride over there. Yeah, they might have like the thing with the spires. Oh. Not the fetch quest part. Not the fetch quest part. It's like, oh, I want to do this one. You know? Let's show them how free men do some killing. God damn it, another event. Not yet. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. It's like, Arthur, get on that stagecoach, my ooh boy! <laughs> it's time to kill people! She like shot out of the back. Yeah, it was great. I'm like, oh no. Probably the best moment of the playthrough is just hey, you're running okay. over his old woman and drag dolls. Me running over like fences and shit. Like, I can do what I want. I didn't know I had my gun out, shit. Hey there, mister. <laughs> I was gonna be like, hi, mister, and then put a gun at him. I'm like, fuck. There. 
You can sleep into it, I guess. Yeah, I did. I did, I'm glad. What the hell? A watch pistol with the ledger. A watch, a pistol with a ledger. A ledger of what, man? Uh, I order a Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne. We do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden. Henrietta Blackley Clerk. November 18th, 1895. There's the ledger he found. Or maybe you just read something. No, that ain't it. <laughs> you just read it. Look at it. You found the ledger or what? Like, oh, is that it? Nope. That ain't it. Do you remember everything else? Yeah. Oh, wait, uh, whoop, whoop, wait, whoop, Arthur, please, whoop, wait. Oh, nope, that, that's the notice again. Same thing, other side. Right. Step. Ledger. Watch. Pistol. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> Ooh, beer. Oh. Kentucky Rose beer. Interesting. <laughs> you just stole it. No. Oh. I even know why. I don't know why I let you look at that. <laughs> is it this? Is it to say he's a drinker? You, the vegetable? What is it? I found your canned vegetable. <laughs> you need that? <laughs> You're just <gonna stay. laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Oh wait. <laughs> you stole his food, or did you eat his food? I'm gonna eat my meat. This motherfucker eating beans! Right, so... You know, I found, like, a YouTube channel called, um, like... What was it? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a photo. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Here's Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. So yeah, some of this stuff is kind of spells out what is going on here. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here of any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Found the watch. No, like a moth. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Oh, I got a cigarette card. No. Okay. Where is all this old crap? We're not collecting them all. <laughs> That's for the people who want to 100% the game. Like, I made Arthur a chain smoker. Just, <laughs> alright. Not there. It's like the episode of South Park where, like, there was this anti smoking campaign thing. And there's a bunch of, like, cringy people. They're, like, doing this. Doing the, like, uh, presentation. Like, yeah, we we didn't smoke and we we're okay. Like, that kind of shit. And then, like. That Pa. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. France. So, yeah, some shit right down. Um, apparently the dude's wife died. Uh, get, get right fucking spot. Ah, uh, a trap door, huh? Secret passage. What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. 
That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah, son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! Son of a bitch! Ah. No fucking bullets. I thought that guy, I thought that guy had a gun, but it turns out he had a knife. He got a knife fought him too, but yeah. Go put a gun in your hat. Yeah, I want my hat back. Fucker. Um, I was going to loot the body, but he's like, "Ooh, trap door." Because it was the same button. <laughs> The body's on the... the gun's on the ground. That guy had nothing on him. Well, actually, that makes sense. That guy is a squatter. <laughs> this fucking thing. Fucking flintlock. Oh, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Oh, let's find that ledger. Somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war. And justice went out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? Ballista slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy. Seventeen dollars. Yeah. January eighteenth. That's Louise, the thing. Twelve dollars. May eighteenth. Wilfred. Eighteen dollars. You think you're May helping the guy get his shit back? Child, Twenty dollars. Cause like the bank stole his house or whatever. But turns out he was a massive slaver. So now we gotta go back to this dude. I'm probably, I'm going to guess I'm going to have to kill this dude. Well, the last time we dealt with a racist, I choked him to death near, like, a convenience store. So. I'm going to assume that I am, you are 99% sure that we have to kill this man. I'd be shocked if we didn't. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. Oh no, what a tragedy. I'm grateful for the help you've given us. And to help your pappy, and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Here's truly Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Yeah, plantation. If the guide would have spoiled it, I, I was afraid the guy was gonna spoil it for you. Oh, what a, nice. oh, oh, sweet. Nice. <laughs> Good thing you, you locked out, you didn't read that far. Yeah, it said in the guide that he worked as a slaver, so nice. Yeah, I yeah. read that by accident. If I didn't, wasn't careful, I got in. Good oh, boy. Oh boy. Got about us. Just when 
they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just, it's all, it's all going to hell. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies, oh, you... they are for Dude, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. You killed something, it just wasn't him. That will. Don't worry. Yeah, you get cooked karma if you shoot him. Well, it wasn't part of the mission, but you did it your way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you killed his legacy, but the game didn't tell you to kill him, so you did it yourself. Yeah, I killed his legacy. <laughs> And his life. Yep. It fucking sucked. I missed the first time. But hey. Like, oh shit. Oh. He probably had nothing on me anyway. I probably would loot him. It'd be like a fucking thing of whiskey or some shit. Ish. Yeah. I'm. I gotta be honest. I'm kind of amazed to get good karma for shooting him. You know, there's a thing we haven't discovered yet where you can get good karma for killing people. We haven't discovered it yet. But. It's like out in the woods. But, like. I'm not gonna go looking for it. It's like some random place. We haven't found Gavin. We have not found Gavin yet. We found Jeff and Jack. We still haven't found Gavin. We have not found Gavin yet. <laughs> not even the guy you scream about. Gavin! Where's Gavin? Have you seen my friend Gavin? I'm like, no. I remember, like, you know, the guy going by, like, Gavin! Yeah, during, like, chapter, like, three or two. So I don't know where it is. Hmm. No, Mary Beth's a different mission. I think it's just go to Dutch, right? It, it seems like. Alright, so is it like you do Dutch and then Mary Beth? I'm assuming. Is that Dutch. what it is? Yeah, because Mary Beth doesn't make sense. Let me make sure. Yeah. Yeah, Here we go. Yeah, I Go to Dutch, like that. Okay. I want, I want my story to make sense. Damn it! <laughs> you know, there he is. Yo, Dutch! I killed a slaver. <laughs> what did you, you do today? <laughs> Your boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, Bronte? Boy's gonna get um, he's guess. Italian. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. 
Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this. I know the PS4 goes apeshit every time a story mission starts. Run along now, boy. Hmm. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Yeah, follow, follow touch. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now... We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> That's the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but... But... Uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Hi. I think you will let me ride over John with your horse. Whoops. I don't know why you did that. I. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm going to get out of here. And John fell over. Come on, then. That's how that happened. I. I promise you, I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, like, that's weird. I think so. Mm. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. 
It's All right. real well, impressive. This is going on too long. Peace you know, out. You did good.